Photo Voice is a participatory photography program. It's actually an international program in which cameras are given to people who don't always have a voice and using photography they get to document their realities. So a couple of years ago uh, CMCA decided hey this is a project we can do, this is a program we can develop and we decided to start to implement photo voice with youth in our community and, and more specifically kind of middle school age youth um, sometimes there's not as many programs for them, but, they're, but they have really valuable things to contribute and really good things to say. And, um, each week we've had a topic or a project that they go and take pictures of. So we started off with the easiest one, basic needs, and then the second week was lifelong learning. Uh, we also did some weeks talking about relationships, what's a positive relationship and negative relationship and healthy relationship. We talked about the community, we talked about advocacy. Uh, what are issues or problems in our community that need to be addressed? And so Photo Voice can be a platform to elevate concerns that leaders may or may not be aware of, but youth certainly who are paying attention um, know of. Most of them didn't know one another when they started this class, and you could tell the first class they were sitting around awkwardly not knowing what to say, and now, now by, by the seventh class they've become friends, and. Uh, it's become a lot of fun for them, too. Uh, in addition to their photography, we also have a chance to talk about the issues that come up as we're talking about basic needs, as we're talking about advocacy. And so some of those conversations, which won't necessarily be captured on film, have been one of the greatest learning experiences, I think, for them, but, but definitely for me as well, just to listen to the variety of voices in the room every week. I think of photo voice as like kind of a fun thing, but it's you also got to take it seriously because like you're dealing with like major technology, you're dealing with things that don't that's not even in your price range. So you have to be like very careful, and you got to make sure that you don't drop anything, like because if you drop it without the case on it, it'll probably break the screen, and that's what Miss Sarah taught us not to play with the camera and to be really serious about it. I took a picture of thing, things that will bring back memories of so many years ago. Um, like I took, a school, I took a picture of a school bus that I used to ride, Bus 54, and I took a picture of the building that I go at, but next year is gonna be history for me because I'm not gonna be able to go there, but I'll sometimes stop by there in the morning, say hello to the principal and my old teacher, and tell them thank you for what they did and teaching me to be successful and go on to the next grade. I saw like the world in like a different position and place because now I can see why people are trying to make a change in the world and stuff. Um, my favorite picture is a picture of my little brother and he's really, he's cheesing really big and it's kind of funny because he does this all the time when he takes pictures. So it was kind of funny. I want to fix those roads that have potholes in it and new sidewalks because that has been there for more than like I was bored. It's like a difference if you have the flash on and not often I really didn't notice that until because the light just shines on the picture which is kind of hard to see so it's like sometimes better with the flash on and sometimes with the flash on. Having photo books is a good thing you should sign up for it help you out through if you really do love art or writing you should try photo voice because it helps you with a lot of stuff in life and it will tell you more stuff about the planet or everything else that's happening around us. You, uh, you can understand then how incorrectly placed shadows ruin an image. If you put a shadow in the right place, it can make an image even better. And it taught me how to um, take more angles and express like the lights and stuff. And like they said, I was good with angling and stuff, so they made me do more stuff with angles. I would say you should take photo voice because it shows you a lot with the economy and how you can help with other things and how you can express yourself in different ways instead of like actually saying it, you can like express it. And then when people ask, you can tell them what you mean because 
you they might be thinking something different from what you think and y'all can compare when I first came, I didn't really know how it was going to be. I didn't really know what the environment was going to be like. But then when I ended up coming, I ended up liking it a lot because they offer a lot and um, they teach you new ways on uh, how to use the camera, ways that I didn't even know, and show you how many uh, different angles you can use as well. Also, when I didn't know when I was here that there was going to be a professional photographer here helping us, so that was pretty cool. It kind of like made me like think about like, like actually like look at the community and see how it really was and not just like how it was in like my like little world. Uh, Photo Voice was really fun and uh, whoever, I mean, anybody can take it and you'll have a lot, you'll enjoy it. Photo Voice is cool. You should really come to learn about it. It helps you learn new things, techniques and everything and you actually have a fun time learning about it. Just the angle of it, I thought it was a good angle, so I just hurried up and took the picture before it came down more. And that was for like how you can make friends, and I think you make friends with us, so that's how I took that picture. So. And so Photo Voice is this wonderful opportunity to empower youth to, to start doing that. Um, and so, in fact, I, I have really high hopes for Photo Voice in Columbia. I think it's something that can contribute to our, our public conversations in really positive ways and, and expand the number of people who are contributing to those conversations.